Hello and welcome everybody. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to cover ward off and roll back. And we're going to work on those two together to create a really good moving meditation and really break down Tai Chi 13 so you can make sure that you're getting the most out of your Tai Chi training. So this again is Tai Chi for wellness. And so we're trying to stimulate the lower Dantian, move the waist. So the biggest thing about ward off and roll back is twisting of the waist. So we're going to make sure we twist the waist as we ward off and then we just untwist the waist as we roll back. Let's begin. So what we're going to work on, we're just going to work on the upper body. So we're going to keep the knees bent and tailbone tucked in, feet pointed forward as good as possible. And now we're going to work from hold ball. So hold ball, right hand is holding a ball, left hand will be on top to sit on top of the ball. Pretty good. And then we're going to go to our right so i'm going to go this way you're more than likely going that way because that's your right so we're going to kind of go opposite of each other today and so from here we're going to take a good inhale and now if your right hand is holding a mirror you'll be able to see yourself as you ward off so i'm going to roll my right hand up upward and outward energy and so if there's a mirror in my right hand i can see what's going on and then i just twist the hands so now I look at the back of my right hand and i'm looking into my left palm and i roll back so i untwist the waist and then you're reaching towards the screen where'd you go again we're just gonna hold ball right hand ward off and then rotate the hands and we roll back Left hand goes from liver to spleen. Right hand's reaching out for a handshake, just like so. Hold ball. Ward off. Twist the waist and then relax the shoulders. Roll back. Hold ball. Ward off. Rotate the hands and now roll back. Very good. So I start from hold ball and then I ward off. So up and out. Roll back. Bring it back to here. And that'll set us up for press, which is another twist of the waist. Elbow down, etc. Okay, so whole ball. I say whole ball right in the form usually, uh, and in my classroom, so that way we see whole ball right. Okay, with the right hand, and then ward off, roll back, and this is just the upper body. Hold ball, ward off. Roll back. Now that you're familiar with the moves, you start to create more movement in the shoulders, elbows, wrists. Ward off. Hands are chasing one another, so good high five. Okay, kind of see that. High five. Roll back. Back. Whole ball. One, two, three, four. Ward off. Two. Three, four, roll back. Two, three, four, hold ball. Sometimes we just hold the pose. So here's hold ball. And then you just kind of burn that into the muscle memory. I'm holding ball, hold ball. And then there's ward off. I ward off and I'm working on reaching. Now, if this hand is by the armpit, it's because I'm not twisting the waist. I have to twist the waist, all right? Not the hips, the waist. All right, twist. So, twist. All right, untwist, twist. And then we rotate the hands, and then we roll back. All right, so the hand is kind of like rubbing across the belly, cutting across with like an open hand if you like. Whatever you'd like to do with this hand is fine. I like to do this. And this is like a handshake, right? So it's either pressing or 
sitting there floating like so. And then we just reach up with the right hand, roll it around and hold ball. Just like that. Ward off. Roll back. Let's try the other side. So take your left hand, reach up for the sky, open up and hold ball. The reason we do this is because I want to rotate the shoulder so I have a good stretch here. Right again, it's for wellness, and so I'm working on range of motion of the shoulders, elbows, and wrists. So reaching, rolling. All right, now let's go with ward off. So with ward off, we're going to open up the left hand. And you can see yourself in the mirror with the left hand and the right hand's chasing. Rotate the hands, untwist the waist to roll back. Very good. Left hand up, rotate around, ward off. Roll back. Okay. Left hand up, rotate around, ward off. Roll back. Left hand up. Ward off. Roll back. And now, let's work on an exercise that you can utilize if you're having troubles with this. You can just use these two in repetition. We can go right and then we can go left with it. So, do the best you can. Have fun with it. Uh, if you do have any questions, just leave a comment below and then uh, we'll get to it as soon as possible. So from here, we'll start with the right side. You're probably going that way. I'm going that way. There we go. Right hand up and right hand out. And you just follow the right hand. And if you use your eyes to focus on the right hand, you'll know which way you're going. So use the eyes, follow the right hand. And then we, from here, hold ball. And we have ward off right. Roll back. Now we're going to go to the other side. So left hand, open for the hug. Left hand holds the ball. So now my left hand is under the belly button. Ward off. Roll back. Right hand now. So watch the right hand. Ward off. Roll back. Left hand, inhale, exhale, roll back and exhale. Right hand, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, in. out in so as you get used to the movements you can start to smooth it out roll back but take your time it might be robotic at first that's fine all right once it's in then you can smooth it out roll back one two Three, four, one, two, 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 three, four. Almost done. Three. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. We're going to do a cross hands finish. So we cross the hands, feet together. Inhale. Exhale. 
<laughs> Outstanding job. I hope that helps clean up some of the ward off and roll back movements in your form. So anytime you have any problems, utilize these videos to just smooth out some of the transitions or maybe pick up some new things that you weren't doing before in your set. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below, hit like, hit subscribe, let us know what you enjoyed about the training. And again, if you have any questions, let us know. Look forward to continuing success. Be well, stay zen.